wars are not the way of settling dispute. We don't believe that a solution is going to come from the battlefield. We think, you know, at some point there will be a negotiation. You made the case for maintaining a strong uh, economic relationship with, with Russia because of historical roots. As, an, as India emerges as a global economic and political power, with that will come also increased responsibilities on the global stage, obviously. So my question to you is, what is India going to do to help us solve the problem in Russia, Ukraine? I'm suggesting that we had, you know, traditionally a strong relationship and the future of the relationship also, there are benefits uh, for us. So it's not just a look back, it's also a look ahead. But on the, uh, on the war that's going on, uh, we, one, believe that uh, wars are not the way of settling disputes. Two, we don't believe that uh, a solution is going to come from the battlefield. Three, that we think, you know, at some point there will be a negotiation. And such a negotiation has to obviously include the, the parties. It cannot be a, a one-sided negotiation. And uh, from those assessments, uh, we have been engaging both uh, the Russian government and the Ukrainian government in Moscow and in Kiev and in other places uh, to see whether, you know, there is something we can do which would, uh, uh, which would hasten uh, the end of the conflict and uh, some kind of, uh, initiate some kind of serious negotiation between that. Uh, this is a kind of exploration that we have been doing. I mean, it's not that we have a peace plan. We are not suggesting anything. We are having these conversations and sharing these conversations with the other side. My sense is both sides appreciate it. So if we look at the last few months, uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi met uh, President Zelensky in June. He met President Putin in July. He met President Zelensky again in August. Uh, this month we've had contacts. Our NSA had met President Putin. And yesterday, uh, Prime Minister Modi met Zelensky again. So, uh, so we, we think if these conversations are helpful and there's something we can do, and there are not that many countries and that many leaders today who have the ability or the willingness to engage both Moscow and Kiev at the same time, I think uh, we could make a contribution. Uh, and certainly, I think we, there is a widespread feeling in many parts of the world uh, that, uh, you know, the sooner the conflict uh, ends, the better it is for the global uh, economy and society.